Hello and welcome to New Start at Home. I'm your host, Don McIntosh, and today we're delighted to have you with us, but we're also delighted to have Dr. David DeRose. He's a specialist in internal medicine, and welcome to the program. It's great to be with you, Don. And today we're going to be talking about water, and why is it that we should be interested in water? Where should we get it? When should we get it? Uh, all those things. Well, I mean, for a lot of people, water sounds like a very mundane subject. I mean, it's all around us. I mean, it comes out of the sky. And <laughs> really, I mean, people say, yeah. water. But when I was a medical student, nobody really was uh, catching on to the values of water. Uh, many of my classmates kind of made fun of me because I actually used to carry a water bottle with me. I mean, mm. Now, every, now lots of people carry water Sure, bottles. because we're starting to recognize that this is something that's got profound health benefits. Don, I don't need to review today for our viewers some of the heart protective benefits of water. I think many people have heard that uh, groundbreaking research that came out of Loma Linda University, oh, probably about 10 years ago now, where they actually found that those who drank more water actually had substantially less heart disease. Mm -hmm. Right. So what are we going to talk about since we're not going to cover that? We're going to talk about water and weight reduction. Weight reduction? I've always heard that, you know, that increases your weight. Well, sure. Water has weight. Mm -hmm. Water weighs uh, about a pound for a pint of water. Mm -hmm. So if I'm standing on the scale, I weigh myself, then I quickly chug down two pints of water, I'll weigh about two pounds more. Mm. But your body doesn't just hold on to all that water. No, it gets rid of it. It gets rid of it. And there's some fascinating things that happen when you drink more pure water. First of all, pure water has no sodium in it. So what do you mean pure water? Where would I get that? You can get it from a spring, mm -hmm. especially that has no sodium in it. You can get it uh, from your faucet, especially if uh, you use reverse osmosis, uh, if you have a water softener, because if you've got a water softener, that's going to be putting salt into the water. So salt fo follows water, or water follows salt, and if you don't have that, then you lose weight. Actually, that's part of it. You're okay. exactly right. When you drink more water, what happens is, first of all, you tank up your system. So if you're dehydrated, which many Americans are, mm -hmm. they're walking around not at optimal brain functioning because they're dehydrated. Mm -hmm. They may tend to get a little lightheaded when they stand up. A number of problems can occur with lack of water intake. Once you get hydrated, though, the excess water you take in actually is processed through the kidneys and comes out. Mm. So then that causes you to lose weight, or what is it that causes you? What it does is the way the Lord has designed our kidneys is every time we void water, we actually lose some sodium with it. Okay. And so it actually takes sodium out of the body, pulls more water with it. So for a person who has edema, swelling of the legs, mm -hmm. I mean, provided they don't have... Uh, heart disease. Yeah, so right, heart disease or heart kidney disease. failure, right. something like that. Well, if they don't have those problems, just garden variety edema, Drinking more water can actually decrease the problems with fluid buildup because it pulls excess water out of the system. Okay. So this is one way that water drinking can help someone lose some weight if they're retaining fluid. Okay, so we know why, another reason why, to help us lose weight. When should we be drinking water? Well, well don't jump ahead on me right. too much. because you've got, you've got something else about the yeah, water. Yeah, because drinking water, some of the latest research, and I've got a study right here, Don, uh, it's actually showing us that when you drink more water, it stimulates met metabolic receptors in the body mm -hmm. that actually raises body processes, raises okay. metabolism. So it thinks you're going to get more, but you don't get it. You just got the water and it starts burning more off. You burn more calories. Mm. So water drinking is very positive. Even room temperature water it doesn't have to be cold and have to be warmed up. So. Let's say, it makes your metabolism go up. What about a diabetic? Is that going to be a problem? Actually, typically not. This would be beneficial for the diabetic as well. So it tends to ensure that you don't overeat when you're well hydrated, when you come to sit at the meal. It also helps you trim down some pounds. We've got about 40 seconds left. When should we drink this water? Water is best drunk between meals, not with meals. Mm -hmm. uh, that tends to interfere with the digestive process. And especially if you have reflux, you'll get into problems. Amount of water to drink, that was on your mind next, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. We recommend <laughs> one ounce for every two pounds of weight. That's okay. a general rule of thumb. You weigh 200 pounds, drink 100 ounces a day. We've been talking with Dr. David DeRose. We've had some good news about water. It can actually help you lose weight. It does a lot of other great things as well. We're glad you've joined us. If you want more information, go to newstart.com. 
We're glad you joined us as well, Dr. DeRose. Thank you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.